Hey everyone, Techni here with the review of the Red Dragon Lone Wolf 2 gaming mouse or the M721 Pro. Now the first thing I'd like to kind of talk about before we actually get into talking about the mouse here and everything is just Red Dragon in let's say budget gaming mice, you know what I mean? And when I say the word budget, as y'all know in some of my other reviews, budget or low price does not make a product a piece of junk whatsoever, you know what I mean? We review a lot of mice, a lot of products around here with price ranges from a high up there as far as mice up into the hundreds, you know? And then this guy coming right around around that $30 price range. But again, just because it's a lower price range or not this big market company that you see in all these retailers and everything, does not make it a piece of junk. Because honestly, spoiler alert, this thing is solid. And first off, what I'd like to talk about is the shape of this mouse, because let me tell you what, this thing fits like a stinking glove in a hand. I mean, it is so nice. Get a nice palm grip, you know, get a claw. Fingertip may be a little tough because it is long, you know, but as far as getting that palm and just getting right there, I mean, it fits so nice. And talking about that great feel and shape right there, it's actually coming in at 129 millimeters long. 67.5 millimeters wide and then 40.5 millimeters tall so yeah after hearing those dimensions right there it is a bit of a larger mouse right there but again with me with medium and large hands you know it feels great i even think for smaller hands if you're into that palm grip i think it'll suit you great right there you know it just feels really nice as far as the ergonomics and the shapes of it swooping in on the sides coming out a little bit on the back side right there and again talking about it feeling so nice in your hand right here you got that matte coating across the whole top right there very nice and grippy on the side over here by your side buttons actually that's actually a rubber grip right there and it just holds your hand or your thumb in place right there very very nice again super duper cozy and now one thing that got a little weird to me talking about the weight right down here on the box it says weight 159 grams so i'm sure they got the weight inside there and everything but 159 grams that is one heavy stinking mouse you know what i mean but it's really weird why they have that on it because I took it to my scale and I got like 118 with the weight in there right took the weight out I got right around 104 so and that sounds a little more accurate for a gaming mouse not 159 I mean that would be drastically heavy so I took all the cord and then set all the cord and everything onto my scale and then I got closer to that weight right there so I don't know if that's how they're kind of advertising hey total weight of the entire product with cable and all which I personally don't think that's how they should advertise it. They should advertise it, you know, with weight, 118, without weight, 104, or whatever they get. And my scale is usually pretty much spot on. I get a pretty uh, high grade uh, USPS uh, shipping scale right there. And all my other mice have come right on par with manufacturer's weight and everything. So again, them saying 159 on a box is I think is absolutely wrong. But again, so as far as your weight on this guy, 104 without weight, 118 with weight. You know what, talking about that weight real quick here i just got on my phone just because i wanted to double check myself i said this is kind of weird right so i got on their website I, I don't know they got two websites red dragon usa and red dragon zone or something like that but anyways on this one right here it says the weight of the mouse is 166 grams so it's like, I mean, come on, what weight do we have here? And yeah, that weight is a little bit up there. I usually like staying right around 90s and lower. 90s usually my sweet spot right there, you know what I mean? But as far as the shape and the feel of this really kind of filling out your hand right there, you really don't notice that weight. Again, that's what I always try to, you know, let you guys know is that, hey, it's not really the weight of the mouse, it's how it's gonna fit your mouse. Cause you got this tiny mouse that's really heavy, then it's gonna feel awkward in your hand. You really feel that weight coming around. But as far as this mouse is really filling out my hand right here, that weight's really not noticeable because again, it's just going right with my hand. Now, as far as the buttons on this mouse right here, you have nine buttons. You actually have three on this side right over here, your forward, your back right there. And then this one right down here is a rapid fire button, which equals three left mouse clicks right there. I kind of would have preferred it to be out of the box, like a sniper, a button where it drops that DPI really low right there. But again, it's really nice. You can really decipher each button right there. Really nice. Then you got your scroll wheel and then the three buttons right up top right here. Now this is DPI up dpi down and then your rgb adjust and you also have very nice finger grooves right up here in the mouse one and two right there almost just perfect and the side buttons line up perfectly with your thumb if you're getting a palm grip on there really nice let me give you a quick sound test So as far as the sound test right there, I don't know if any of you have noticed, as far as our side buttons, all three of them sound a little bit different right there. 
And I don't know, you can kind of take that as a personal preference thing if you like it or not. Me personally, I do like it because I know which one I'm pressing with that sound right there, you know what I mean? But again, all of them do sound a little bit different. Now also speaking about the mouse clicks right there, one thing I want to show you, keep an eye on your left click right here. As you can see, it bottoms out right onto the frame right down here. Now with the right click, as you can see, it doesn't. So we click and we still have that massive gap. Again, you see right when we get to click, we bottom out on this side. We click and we have that big gap down there. So if you're wanting to press all the way down until your mouse uh, button hits the uh, bottom out right there, you're gonna be pressing it down a good bit to get it to bottom out right there, which that kind of threw me off a little bit. Again, kind of get a softer feel over here and a firmer feel. It's very mild, nothing major by any means, but you do notice it. And as far as the USB cable on this mouse here, it is braided and it is quite heavy duty. So maybe put it in a bungee or hold it up by something right there, because again, you will start feeling that drag. It is quite heavy, but very durable. Now, as far as the bottom of the mouse here, you have two very nice big uh, glide feet right here. One thing I really like, as you see, we have that little split design up on the top right there, but we still have one long mouse foot right there. A lot of times when we see this split design, they take a mouse foot here and then one over here, and then we get that drag in the middle. I like how we have a big one going across there and then on the bottom as well. And it glides pretty nice. Again, it's a little bit of a lofty mouse right there. So you do feel that. But as far as the glide, I mean, butter smooth across the pad. And the Lone Wolf 2 here is using the PMW 3335 sensor and it's spot on in any of the game. And I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately and a lot of Fortnite and it's been honestly spot on perfect for me. And you do change your DPI with the buttons up top here like we talked about. And as you can see, it changes colors whenever we change our DPI right around there and it lets you know which one you're on. Now the cool thing about it, after a few seconds, it'll bam, go off right there and go back to your RGB or no RGB if you decide right there. So it's pretty cool. You don't have that one uh, solid color just kind of standing out there right there. It just gives you a pre-warning as far as what DPI you're on and then it goes away. I really like that touch. But as far as a mouse, I mean, this thing feels incredibly solid. I really like it. You're talking 30 bucks right here. Wow, I mean, you can't go wrong. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.